Hey guys, it is Jessica and welcome to Vade Apocalypse. It is something yummy Sunday. It is Vade Apocalypse day number 26. It's my last Sunday with you guys cooking for you. Um, and guess what, Mrs. Niedermeyer? I got a pasta machine. I got a pasta machine. This is my Mercado Atlas pasta machine. Um, I am not actually making spaghetti or linguine. If I was, I would be using this fancy schmancy handy dandy attachment. Uh, tonight we're making raviolis, so I thought I would bring you along with me as I make pasta with my pasta machine. You jealous, Mrs. Needlemeyer? Woo woo! So this is the recipe for the pasta. You need six to six and a half cups of all-purpose flour, six eggs, three quarters of a cup of water, and two teaspoons of olive oil. But since I am limited for space, um, I've cut the recipe in half. There's the directions down there as well. So um, I'll show you how I do it. I've already made some. This is why this is so dirty. This is why my hands are just so beautiful right now. So like I said, I've done this in, um, I'm making a half batch right now because I already have a bowl of dough in the refrigerator. This is a half cup, so I have to do this six times. Flour in there. And what you want to do with your fingers is you kind of want to make a hole in the bottom of it as you see what I'm doing with my hands here you want to make a hole because this is where your eggs and your oil and your little bit of water are going to go pull this right over here one where's my compost? I put those in there for the compost Two, three, three eggs, and since I'm cutting it in half, I only need one teaspoon. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. There we go. One quarter of water. Put a half in that quarter cup. Awesome. I'm going to give this a really light scramble. I don't need the instructions anymore. Beat them very lightly. Right, I'm going to bring my flour back. I'm going to add this to the center of the well that I have. And slowly, I am going to scrape the sides. I wish that you could see in here. I don't know how I'm going to do this. When I slay, I'm slowly going to add it in. I mean just a little bit at a time. And you're going to bring that into the center of the well. A little bit. Mix it up a little bit. And you're just going to keep on going around and around and around until all the flour is incorporated. After a while, it's going to get real sticky, so you're going to want to knead it with your hands. And you want to knead it for a while until until it bounces back, I kind of call it like a tempurpedic, like a tempurpedic mattress where you could stick your finger into it and pull it out and it would kind of just spring back at you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of flour down on my surface and take this out of the bowl because it would just be easier. not sticking to my hands anymore as you can see this is pretty good and here for the true test stick my finger in look at that and it comes right back out Boop. and it's bouncing back into shape so what I'm gonna do with this 
ball of raw pasta dough is I'm going to cover it in saran wrap and I'm going to let this sit by itself for half an hour and I'll be back. Yeah. Alright, so here's my ball of dough and it's been sitting in the, um, in the refrigerator for about a half an hour. I have my cutting board here and I got some more flour. It feels really good, feels nice and firm. I'm going to cut this into four pieces. So we'll give it a nice chop in half and another chop in half. Alright, so here it is. I'm just going to set the rest of these pieces over here. Yeah. Uh, you're going to help me in just a minute, okay? Let me just do this one piece to show everybody. What? That's great. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of flour here, put on my cutting board just because I don't feel like getting it all over my table, and we are going to flatten this guy out because he's getting ready to go into the pasta machine. Whoa, those are great. That's a great prefix. This is our dial over here. We're going to start it off at number one, and we're going to kind of work our way. I pass it through number one two or three times. Then I work my way down to two, then three, then four. And as you can see, the numbers are getting closer and closer together. That means the thinner and thinner and thinner it is. Can you see that moving as I turn it? So we start at the widest, which is number one. So I'm going to take it, put the pasta in there, I'm going to crank it. And he's going to come out of the bottom, right over here, can you see? Oh, Mrs. Niedermeyer, don't be so jealous. And we're going to flour him again. Put a little flour on this side, a little flour on that side. Dust him around. Let's put him in again. Do number one a few times. There we go. Let's do another one here. You guys are kind of getting the idea. I'm going to go to number two now. Oh, that was number three. Come on, machine. This is a nice big sheet of pasta, nice and thin and pretty. And I have another sheet over here. And I rolled out, this is something called a pasta bike. And it rolls out your pasta for you. I mean, it lays your guide down for you and it also crimps. So I have my ravioli mixture. And I'll sh come back after I'm done making all my raviolis. I was making ravioli, but I know my son's not going to want ravioli. So I decided to save a little bit of the pasta and just make him some spaghetti. Spaghetti. All right, so that's my spaghetti. And then this is the attachment that you put on to do the spaghetti with. All right, here we go. Get you in. I'm gonna take my thing out, put it into my spaghetti spot. Now watch this. This is the fun part. Here comes the spaghetti. Oh, you. there goes the spaghetti. And that's it, guys. Mrs. Niedermeyer's fresh pasta from season five of The Walking Dead. Well, let's hope Mrs. Niedermeyer gets her pasta machine in season six and doesn't die. That's it for me, you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.